Now, okay, we're on the 58 pan head. So we have to make up some frame parts over here. Where'd my cheat sheet go? So over here an exhaust bracket. So I'm gonna cut this off, so I gotta make a piece to go in here and weld it on. So here is the frame right here. This is how it's supposed to look. You cut it right through here for some stupid reason. So this is the piece here we're gonna make. This is about five eighths thick through here, three quarter here. So we got a piece of half inch material here. So this is on here like that. So I've been cutting it away. So it's time to start filming and show what we're working on. Right, Fred? Yeah, sure, why not? Can we have Ollie do it? No, I got it. I got it. You ready? You just got to work. Just got to work. You just got to work, man, only 20 minutes ago, didn't you? Oh, yeah, now how am I going to do this like, without cutting myself? You know, he works bankers, not even bankers hours, man. He's like... No. The problem with this, Fred, is if I go like this, it takes my hand off. Yeah, it's not going to be good. It might be like suicide there. So, the next problem is... I can't how are you going to cut that? Here. Why don't you just use a hacksaw? Yeah, that's probably how you would do it. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were... See, I keep my arm down here so if it cuts off, I catch my arm like this. Oh, so we don't lose an arm? Go like that. That's very good. You want to make sure you don't push into the blade. It could hurt you. The talent of the... Feels like it's cutting only on one side, not the other side. Well, you're pulling it at an angle, so... It could have so... just been me, though. Yeah, you're trying to make a damn angle it cut. It is heavy, Fred. Yeah. Make a hell of a damn... So, you didn't quite follow the line. Well, I figured about halfway through you didn't want to because you're cutting inside the line or well, outside the line. I was to go more closer, but the blade wanted to cut to the right. I was trying to go to the left or whichever side of the bike you're on. And then he trips over all the crap. That... So now we got to see if it actually fits, but we do have to cut this away a little bit. It right appears on. that Fred missed it by a little bit. No, you didn't. That's the best way to cut it. So what are you doing now? Are you actually going to grind it down or what? Why don't you check the fitment first before you start grinding? I'm going to check the fitment. Huh? Oh, yeah. No, seriously. I'm going to check it right now. All right, thank you.
That thing sends off too, so many, too many sparks. <laughs> I think it fits perfect. A little warm now? I don't know. I'm not touching that part. You just like running that big old grinder. That could be Kicking that up too. sparks. He likes doing those sparky That's things. Hot. Sparky, sparky. Yeah. Like yeah. sparks and little pieces of metal. out of the way. I can't see. Is that close, Mr. Sparky? Oh, I can't see. You're get, getting your... I have my butt in the way. Your big fat ass in the way. My fat ass Eating all them the damn way. Doritos. Those Doritos? And pizza. Pizza Doritos? Couldn't fit in his dang uh, we got pizza shaped, race uniform. Pizza tasted stuff. Here's somebody at a Can you uh, get your help? Oh, Off. It's still steaming a little bit though. Are you going to put a test fit here now or what? What do you think, Ollie? Pretty close. Good enough for Fred? Yeah, well, it doesn't matter back. there. It matters if it fits over Look here. Look at that. The whole pattern even lines up pretty closely. Yeah, but it doesn't matter there. It matters if it fits over here. Well, at least, yeah, but I got just my sample, Fred. Well, that's, that's not the good sample. The sample is right that's here. Not a good sample. It's a bad sample. Let me that oh, don't fall over. <sighs> oh. Don't you cut too much crap out. Huh? No, I need you to do what I'm cutting out. through here. See, it has thick black mark there? I left a little extra just in case. It's a little extra here, too, but I'll weld that in. I don't care about that. So drill a hole and bolt it in. Let's see if the holes line up. Should be pretty close. Looks like the hole pattern is pretty close. Close it's close enough for Fred. It's enough for unscrewing a damn screw up. Unscrew up, screw up. Now are we going to make two of these, Fred, or only one? No. That one's a different shape. Really telephone. Here, somebody put a big low spot in there. Okay, do some more fine tuning. You want me to pause while you're doing that? They also didn't cut it very well. 
It's hard to get good work. They cut it, you know, kind of like. You know, it's cut. If you look at it closely, it's cut at an angle like this. Cut, instead of cutting it flat, they got it cut at an angle. Hey, the guy called you back. I don't know. Hello. Grinding away. What's up? Uh, the clutches are like 225 now, and the spring is probably on the 30 or something. So, somewhere in that area. Is for you or somebody else? I'll cover the tax basically. Okay. Okay, well I'll be here working late, get away. Okay, bye. Alright, did I do it right, Fred? Most humans wouldn't be able to hold that. But. Well, it's only hot on your fingers. You got to cut it, the inside out. It's getting better. Yeah. I need to cut a little bit more on the top. Well, that and look, they when they grind, the they grind, they grind it away on the damn frame. They didn't grind I it. I know. Square. Just, well, actually, it doesn't even fit there. It actually fits way up here. It doesn't fit down here, Fred. I'm not even close now. Well, you need to put the damn bracket on before you do the next bit of cutting. Well, I just now I got to cut more up in the top. I cut, I cut that away there, and I cut it down in here. So this was good. That was too much, and now it's too much that way. I just got to continue my too much. If I keep continuing the too much, it'll well, fit mark in closer. that now. Get the marker out and mark that little bit. Oh, damn. A little booger you got to cut off. The booger I want to cut off. Well, you're going to put the damn bracket up there to make sure you got it lined up right. There. I know you're good at eyeballing things. Never mind. Here, eyeball it. Find the bolt to go through the hole, bro. That's hey, I got something for you. Let me. I'm going to pull it out of my pocket. I don't care where you pull it out of. One of one. like it almost belongs there. Almost. I want you to weld the crap out of it. Oh. Well, I'm not sure where the bracket's supposed to sit. Some of this area here. Oh, look at that. Almost got those holes lined up. I'm assuming it's supposed to be halfway level to the frame, but not necessarily. But I need a center line dimension. Oh. A center line dimension. Yep. Your uh, six-inch scale, Alfred. Hmm. Appears to be on roughly a two-inch center line dimension. Roughly. Roughly. Roughly within a few thou, anyway. So it looks like about the center of my hole is going to be pretty damn close. Yep. Then we're on a level. Yep. So I need to put a hole right there, Fred. That would be correct. Why don't you get your uh, my whole bit? Get my whole thing out. A little bit. Now, now that I've ground this all uneven, I don't have any way of really holding this to drill it. So can you hold that for me while I drill it? I think you might find a way to. I have to find a way to do it myself. Yep. 
So close. No, why are you so close? You just got shoved in the way. He just likes to make sparks all the time. What are you really doing, man? You gonna go drill a hole now or what? Yeah, I'll go drill a hole. All right, we'll be back. Right. Yeah. I'm go drill it. Here okay. Go. Drill it. That ain't hot. Go. Oh. Go look at all these projects. What's the one sitting on the bench here? Yeah. Don't trip over anything. Might hurt your toes. But this one right here? Yeah. What's wrong with those, Fred? Uh, this one appears to, uh, I don't know. What? Where's my tool? Ollie can describe what the problem is. What's the problem, Ollie? <clears throat> this one was uh, broken here. So somebody fixed it. I didn't really it's got, fix it's it missing the, the mount over here for the rocker. Oh. And then uh, it's pretty rusty in here. Oh, rusty is relative. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, but those are those are crappy, yeah. so they need to be replaced. But I don't know if I'm gonna use this. I'll see if I can find a different head for this one. Right here. This one's all stock. It's never been broken or smashed. But I've used. Yeah, and like the like port threads. Yeah. You know the port's still pretty good. It's got a little lip here. There's a hole here. I don't know why it's there, but. Um, Looks like they put it all the way through and then yeah, they drilled all the way through for some reason. So what are you looking for? Maybe it's what, 39. Late 39, early, th early 39. Yeah, I mean it's... The rear knucklehead. Yeah. That's a front one. Yeah, I, need a, I need a rear one. Here's our tool, Fred. Oh, wow. oh yeah. This Wait, we bought this. We went to SEMA. We got this really cool tool. Really loud tool. That's a windshield breaker. You like it, huh? Looks good for that too. Alright, I kind of got it on center now. I had to move it around a couple times. But... 
It is a hard tip. It does put a good hole in it. All right. Let's See, go drill a hole. Got one thing that worked. So anybody got a front, a rear? What was that? A front or rear? Rear. Rear knucklehead. What we need? For rear knucklehead. For thirty-nine, thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. Not 3647. No, 39, four, 30, 38 and 39 only. We don't care about the other ones. We're picky. I don't think that's going to hold in there. I think it's just going to come think out. That's like not that. gonna, yeah. Chase after me. See, that's Fred right. had a bad idea on how to do this. Better? I think I I was going to suggest you cut the hole before you start slicing it off that, oh, damn that piece of metal. I didn't hear that. You, didn't, you missed that? I missed that part. The, the, the audience would have missed it too. But. Anyhow, you'll I think, figure something I out. I think Fred's making that part up. Did mm. you hear that part? Yeah, you'll, I missed you'll that. figure you missed something that part out. Too? Well, Fred heard it. He was asleep. Fred heard it. <laughs> it must be true that Fred heard it. Get out of my way. Fred. Maybe I was just thinking it and didn't say anything. The other way, you could get hit by a vice. You almost got hit by a vice, Fred. <laughs> just don't land on my toes. Only weighs 10 pounds. I had somebody chew me out today because I was out golfing with my uh, stimulator in my That's back. That's how that just misses to go bar. Good part. Yeah. Gotta make sure you put it where it belongs. I kind of got told off. What am I doing out golfing with my bad back and my. Yeah, why are you golfing with your bad back? My stimulator in. Did you tell them what they could do with their bad back? Well, I told them. I was like, hey, life goes on. They believed it? Well, they still didn't agree with it. <laughs> but what the hell, life goes on. Figure out what we're going to do yet, Fred? Yeah, I know what you're going to do. What am I doing? Got to hold it from two sides and so it doesn't move. That it doesn't move? And come in pretty tight on that. What if it does move? It's not going to move. It's not going to move? Because why? Because you got to tighten down from two different angles. And I got it held down. Like that? Yep. And I can drill right through the table and not do that. Hey, that appears to be a uh, mistake. Somebody did that. I don't know who that was. Somebody appears to have made a previous mistake. It's hard to get, hard to get good help. What's that, Fred? You're, you're going to start the drill. Establish a uh, like point of connection. You like my exercise? Establish a point of connection. Why are you going so far up? Holy crap. Look Sounds like crappy. exercise. Look how crappy. Does that appear to be the right spot? Mm, you're going to get close soon. It's dark over here. Suddenly I'm looking at the damn thing. Look centered. You know some money they're going to use that spot I put in there? I think you're going to have a little bit of flexibility there. You notice how I didn't put it in the same spot, I just did it? Mm. See how it's centered in the circle now? Right. See, when I'm using a center drill, I don't have to have a center punch mark. No, you don't. Plus, it's being held by the mill, so it doesn't move. And if I zero this over here, it'll stay right back, same spot. Do we really care? Just drill the freaking hole, man. Why are you taking some damage? Prison or hurry up. Okay. You, know, Fred? you know, most people just take it over to the damn drill bit. They would have used the freaking... Dremel. I keep hearing the word Dremel all the time. Not Dremel, but they'd have took it over here. They'd they have took it. They'd have took it over here and they put a put a big set of vice grips on it, center punched it, and tried to drill the frick out of it, right? Wouldn't they have done that? I wouldn't have done that. Wouldn't they wouldn't have put it in the mill. Have it center punched it, center then pieced it. Fred, what size is that? Probably the correct size. One size over three eighths. Mm -hmm. Which species should I use, Fred? Not, 
a slow speed. How about that speed right there? Wanna put some oil on that? I could. But then you're not. I got to get it though. I'm not in a hurry, so I just have to go for it. Everyone loves that when you just burn the tips off of these drill bits, you know. Well, it was basically a brand new drill, so it's okay. Yeah. Look at that. Look at all the blueing there. It discolored it slightly. Yeah, all okay. the blue freaking shavings. That's why you use cobalt drills and not Harbor Freight drills. Dude. What? What? Are you dishing on Harbor Freight? <laughs> I would never. I mean, do come that. on. We live for Harbor Freight. They just send me no free stuff. Well. If you ever went there, you never go there. I don't even know where they're at. But there's Are you going to your house? I heard. There's one real close to my house. Okay. I knew it. I buy stuff, I break stuff, then I take it back. This it works great. Mm -hmm. I didn't like it last time I used it. Let's see if it works this time. Be too slow. It might need a little more speed there. Flip it over. I didn't like that too much. It's got a big burr on it. Or turn it over. Turn it over. You don't want to flip it over. You want to turn it over. Flip it. Turn it. If you flip it off, what's that do for you? Feel... I used to use the ball one, which I like. <laughs> sure, you're cutting it the right way. Yeah. We want to make sure that bolt can go in that hole, you know. I don't have the bolt, so I don't know if it fits. Now you're going to flip it over and try it again. Fred was in a hurry, so I have to flip it quickly. How's that? I'm not in any hurry. I'm not going anywhere. Where are you so far down there? Yeah, bent. And now he lines it up. Takes out about 60 bucks with the deburring tool to do that. Yeah. How much are you going to get out of this part? Custom made frame bracket like this? Yeah. What, 50 bucks? We're <laughs> about how, many, how long did it take to make it? About More an hour than... and a half? No. 150 bucks so far. We still got to weld it on yet, Fred. I think it's like a $250 part. Yeah, I'm not the one to cut the frame up. Hmm. Now it'll fit perfect. If you didn't cut the frame, you wouldn't have a problem. Yeah, but did he cut the frame or did somebody else cut the frame? He brought it that way. Right. Somebody else cut the frame. Technically, it's not his fault, but now it's his problem, right? That's it's my problem. fault. It's my problem because I have to fix it. Yeah. Lovely. Find your three inch bolt yet, see if it fits. I think we're gonna go by the junk drawer and pick one up. Nice head. See if this will fit. Probably could use two of these. Uh, you know what? That's not going to be long enough.
What happened, Fred? Well, I brought one back, but it wasn't long enough. Are those longer? They are much longer. Much longer. This just appears to be a getting... dirty frame, Fred. Dirty, stinking frame. Oh, just dirty frame. Okay. Not clean, not dirty, stinking frame. Hey, it's a little angled. You okay, Fred? Yeah, I'm living a dream, man. Living a dream. I think you're dying over there. That the exhaust bracket's a little off key, isn't it? Well, that looks better now. Telephone. Is that the phone ringing again? There we go. Oh, perfect fit. Okay, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Hang on. Take it together, so you just have to deal with it when you. Well, you have to deal with it when that happens, so. Oh, well, at least you know you know it's there, so you know what to look at. Send me some pictures, then we'll take a look at it. He's multitasking. He's on the phone, answering something else, taking the part off, and do some more grinding. He's a secretary. Yeah, well, the problem is, every time someone asks if Tatra is there, the next is a question. And only he can answer the question. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Didn't you have a Linder some issues that I can remember? Well, I thought there was a bad lift or something on the road or something talking about. He's over there trying to answer a question. I was going to point out that this, although the two bolts you're working off of on this exhaust bracket are correct, it looks like there was a big break here that they've uh, welded this in. So, yeah, with the original cam, I don't want to use I don't even know if it's straight or not. It's hard to do it without the exhaust on it, I feel like. All right, taking a break. Fred gets nervous. 
You're scratching the damn paint. I know, look at that rock, it's all coming off. Scratching the damn paint, I'm moving this thing around. I get nervous of leaning a bike over and, you know. Yeah, it really, it really scares me a lot, doesn't it? Damn it. You look nervous, Fred. What's wrong? Man, ain't my bike. That's what I always say. Not my problem. Lights off. <clears throat> well... You weren't doing anything except throw the damn frame around. Started from over there to over to here. Yeah, Fred almost jumped out of his sandals down there. Oh, I got my safety shoes on. Did I get drowned? I suspect you'll find some. Find out. <clears throat> Did you prop the area for welding, Fred? I was going to point it out to you that you didn't bother to even bother to sand off the whatever paint they put on there, but oh, I guess it'll just there. burn right through that. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's hard to get good help, you know. Put all these mats down, you can't move shit around anymore. Let's see if they burn now. So much heat's on there, Fred. Oh, enough, burn enough to burn through the paint? Is that going to work? I put my gloves on. Need my welding gloves? Do you really need welding gloves? I get nervous when I don't have long. I don't like these. No, I don't think you're gonna weld the gloves on. Be my Mustang gloves. These look better than blue ones. They're leather. What's wrong with the blue ones? The leather too. They got too much heat shit on the inside. All right, here we go. I don't feel the welding for that. All right. Okay, I tacked it. He just put a big old booger on there. I just tacked it. You're gonna do the top over here on the back? Oh, I'm still tacking it. All right. I need to put another tap over here. Yeah, up there. Over here. Here, I tacked it, Fred. Need to go in from behind, too? It's, it sounded like there might have been some crap in the material. Well, I mean, if you'd have kind of sanded a little bit of the paint off, that might have helped. You're going to come in from the back side now? Right there. I don't know. Can you get to it? Yeah, you can. Kind of, you know, bend over and turn sideways and Is that all? stick it up in the air and. All right, here we go. I ain't nervous. I don't care. You don't care. Yeah, Fred. I don't care. I don't care. I think, it, right? I think it goes the other way around. It's not like it's really going to be valuable. And not a hard tail. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. It's just not a real hard one. It's just not a hard tail. Not a hard tail. It's a fan head, not a hard tail. So. Yeah, it's a hard tail. It's something valuable. I've never seen You're talking to yourself. You're talking inside your mask there. So he's going to weld down in there. I'm going to weld that spot right there? Yeah, well, what if I miss? Away. Hang on. Watch out for sparks on my feet. So. Hey, we got some smoke. Yeah, 
uh, Call the fire department. That well looks like crap because I can't see them all Well, let's see. You didn't clean the front end. Well, I can't see. It's dark. Really sounds smooth, huh? smooth sailing there. Doing some really quality welds. I couldn't hear you, Fred. What you say? I said you're doing some quality welding there. Oh, okay. This it sounds like it. This bolt head was in my way. Uh. You could disassemble it. You could disassemble the bracket and then finish welding it. Why would I want to make it easy on myself, Fred? I don't know. You just like sparks to be getting on your... You're going to spark up the old family jewels, aren't you? Yeah, I was getting ready to do that. Hang on, but let me show the picture here. Why don't you put Holy me on number four over there? You want number four? Hey, this is kind of hot. There's some amps going through there? Yeah, some hot amps. How many amps was I up to, Fred? I don't know, you're amped up. It's a 350 amp machine, I was on number five out of six. How many amps was that? I know, but that's a big ass weld you got going on there. Well, I wanted to blend it in and make it look like it belonged there, Fred. Well, nobody else can see it. Making smoke. Smoke them, you got them! Oh, that sounds really classic there. <laughs> got, a real smooth, got a real smooth welding going on there. What, did I miss a spot? I don't know. Take the bracket off and do it right. Oh, okay. You cut off the door, it's getting kind of fused in here, Fred. In the window. Open the door there and I'll open the window. Gotta open the window and get some air flow. Stand on that one do it. Well, it's a lovely San Diego evening. Oh, this bulb's hot. Really? Why would it be hot? I don't know. I was trying to figure that out. Did you weld them in place then or what? I could. You to weld them in place? Somebody's picking on my welding anyway. That's a, that one's going to be hot right there. They're yeah. both hot. Hmm? That's why I have my gloves on. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that. It comes right out. Uh -oh. OMG. Damn, you screwed up and did it right? Well, I didn't say that, did I? Oh, okay. That wouldn't hurt. Snaggle tooth under here. Burning off all that paint.
nice San Diego evening. We'll do this while he's in there welding. The stars are out. And he's welding away. What are you doing now? Look at the crappy well under here where I can't get to it. And you burn the crap out of that frame. Uh, it might not fall off, Red. <laughs> that would be an understatement. Well, you think it's good enough to hold? I'm thinking it ain't going anywhere. You sure? Put another layer on here. No, no, that's fine. You've done a wonderful job. We have all the welding critics out screwed up the wheels right now. Well, I was critiquing it, you know, in agreement with them before. <laughs> At least the, uh, the new uh, liner and the welding gun seems to be working better. Mm. It's not quite so shitty as it was. Here's that hot. No, but it pinches. Came all the way down from Canada to get an experience like this? Well, I just had nothing else to do. He came yeah. down before, so he didn't know. Hey, that. you can't beat the guy that came from, what, the Netherlands? Went out in town and got freaking pickpocketed. <laughs> really? Yeah. You're gonna be there, right? It was Sweden or Netherlands or somewhere. Netherlands. Yeah. Came all the way to San Diego to pickpocketed. Came all the way to San Diego got pickpocketed. Get out of here. How come I'm trapped, Rob? Because you're trapped like a rat. Yeah, I know how to crawl. Well, are we are we on dead time now? Cause you're just wandering around. Uh oh, here comes the air. Here comes the beast. Touch up. We'll touch up the knob of his big giant boogers he put on there. We have to fine tune the welds. You mean knock down the boogers? Got it warm on the feet there with the sparks. 
Sticking my eyeballs to you. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crimey. <sighs> he likes his big grinder. Everyone's taking all appropriate safety precautions. Big. Or lack thereof. Well, it's a lot better having the earplugs in when that grinder's blowing air in my ear than without. You get a walker's bike. What the hell are you doing, man? What? Throwing sparks up this way and then did. Throwing sparks in your face. Jeez. Uh, one more time. I think I feel it in my face. Kind of black paint and that'll look like um well whatever it looks like, right? <laughs> are we having fun yet? Cause I'm wondering, are we having fun? I don't have all kinds of fun. I get shit in my eyes, my ears, and you hold my face. Watch you. Ugh, freaking tired. Tired. Had a long day. Yeah, there. Air pollution in here, Fred. That's supposed to be. Nothing. I had to blow the dirt out of my eyes. Yeah, let's put high pressure air hose in your eyeballs. There's no evidence of that being done. There's no video of it. Didn't happen. Strictly uh, circumstantial evidence. The clip said that happened. And that's. We haven't rattle canned it yet, but we're getting close. Silver? No. <laughs> black. Silver. Flat black. Flat black. I don't use flat black. I use gloss. Well, it looks new, just like new. Paint it while it's hot, it sets better. Where's that cardboard at? Where's my piece of cardboard at? Mm -hmm. It smells like paint. I don't know what 
paint my rack. Paint my hand, but not my rack. Smells like paint. You can get paint here, Fred. Shit, I got my rack, Fred. Looks like new. Let's put a sticker over it. It is a sticker. I'll wipe it off. Looks like new. It's like stock. Well. <laughs> look at that. My rack dirty. Shit, I wonder how much weight I could put on my rack. Let's see, 4,000 pounds? This one's 4,000, the other one's 3,500. See that one? It's yeah, 3,500. But you've never done. It's the same <laughs> rack, though. <laughs> There's no difference. <laughs> Not that it makes any difference because they don't work. They haven't done anything. Yeah, they hold the, they hold the ground down real good. Well, pretty damn heavy. All right, Fred, is that going to work? I think you're done for the day with that. I can go home now? No. You just got to work, man. You need lunchtime for you. It's 7 o'clock, 7.30? I had lunch when you came in. Hmm? You got lunch up front for me an hour ago. All right. Where's the bolts? Hmm? Aren't you going to let it dry? It is dry. Is it going to fit? No. It appears you got the bolt too hot for him. It's not going to fit. What are you watching? Do you know what you're doing? Yeah, I'm watching you. I'm standing here watching you do that. You're watching me, but the videos aren't. Yeah, I am. Look. That's got, got that too hot. Ruined it. I think there's paint on the threads. Could be. Am I too close now? Probably. Do the aerial view. Aerial V. It's perfect. Bracket going inward, Fred. Hmm? That bracket's going well, inward. I, did I point it out that right after these two little holes that somebody welded this thing together oh, that and then it probably isn't a good bracket to be using? That's for, not a good one to use? No. You hold it like that. Hold it by the kicker. Right. It's going to want to go off the rack. If it goes off the rack, it'll do damage. Why are you doing that? Pretty damn close to being off the rack already. Fred, it got adjusted. The bracket got adjusted. It might be too far out now, but we can we can fine tune that. We know how to fine tune those brackets if they're in the wrong spot. All right, so now we got an exhaust bracket, Fred. Let's see if the toolbox will line up, the toolbox bracket will line up now. What, this box? This one? Why would that line up? Well, because it's supposed to. It, it was? Toolbox bracket. That was an exhaust bracket that somebody added. Mm -hmm. It almost lines up. Well, it doesn't matter. It's going to line it's up. It's not going to go on there anyway. It's not going to be used. That's the, that's what they have for an exhaust bracket. Okay. I eliminated that part. It doesn't have to line up. But it almost does. It's like this far off. It's hitting right on the thread right there. Everybody really wants to see your. Uh... See what? My dirty hands? Whatever. All right, what's next? Put the front end on. Take the paper off. Assemble it. Clean up my mess. I don't know, Fred. What's next? What do we got left to do? 
Well, I think you need to put a front end back on it. You want to do the front end back? Should we put the bike back on the rack or just let it sit overhang like this? I think you should push it back on, swing well, it back work on it like this. Yeah, but we're not doing anything back here. No, we're not doing anything back there. And you like the swing arm bearings and wheel? And Are we doing that? No, you're not. I'm not sure what we're doing. You're not doing that. We're not doing that? No. No. Oh. What are we going to do? Put the wheel back on it? Just shove the wheel back in, put the front end on, put the top end on, and, and send it, it to Texas. And shove it out the door. And send it to Texas. Oh, is that what we're doing? Well, uh, that's a lot of work, Fred. Well, if we're going to do that much work, i got to get it back on the rack. You're just like scraping your paint on there. All right, we're good to go. Alrighty. We're gonna do next. Thanks. Bye.